Welcome to Simple Stow Tutorial. In this short video, we will show you how to enter containers in the Bay Plan using their equipment IDs. This is one of many methods of stowing containers in the Bay Plan. The essence of this method is that you enter containers ID number directly in a cell and the program looks it up in the cargo list and stows that container in the Bay Plan. Before using that method, Containers data, including equipment ID numbers, must be entered or imported from a file into the cargo list in Simple Stow. To make this method work, you must make sure that the setting Check Equipment ID is turned on. To stow a container with known ID number, double click the cell where you want that container to be loaded. Alternatively, you can use the Cargo Properties command in the right mouse menu. In the cargo properties form that will open, start typing in container number in the equipment ID field. When entering the container number, note that the background in the data field turns red. The program verifies correctness and completeness of the number when you are typing. The red background means that the number in current state is incomplete or incorrect. As soon as you enter complete and correct number, the background will turn white again. If a container with that number is present in the cargo list, the program will immediately populate all other data fields in the cargo properties form with characteristics of that container. You can review and edit container data if needed. That will be reflected back in the cargo list. If you have finished entering the equipment ID but the cargo properties form is not immediately populated, that means there is no such a container with a number in the cargo list. If you want, you can manually enter missing characteristics of that container in the cargo properties form. Then that container will be added in the cargo list automatically. When you are done with that container, click in another cell. That will load the container and present you with a blank form for another cell to load next container. You don't have to close the cargo properties form to enter next container in another cell. Keep it opened until you enter all the containers that you need. When done, click OK button to close the dialog. More details on different methods of loading containers in Simple Stow you can find in the section Stowage of Cargo in the program's online help.